Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So while we're on this roll, I just felt the need to do this again. We've done this video before. Um, I don't know how many years ago we did it. Um, but it's just as time has gone on and I've felt more and more convinced. And when, when we ask the guides questions, if we, if we guess something right, they can't confirm. Um, so <laughs> I want to share some things with you about how history repeats itself. It is. And, you know, the information that I got in was fun. It's interesting. I'm still deciphering, but it belongs in this video for sure. Yeah, we are in the last days of the U.S. as we know it. The United States of America is going to uh, cease to be as it has been for, you know, well, since 1776. So, what, 248 years? And yeah, at the same time, they've already told us in so many movies, including Star Wars, how democracies die and empires are born. And this is very much, you know, what we have going on here. So now we have this famous shot. This is a famous photo. There's several different angles of it. And, you know, the guides had said, hey, it's going to look like 45's gone, but he's not. He's not gone. No, he's not gone. He's, he's doing it again. And there was a lot of people saying, he thinks he's Caesar. What does he think? He thinks he's an emperor. Well, I, re I do remember clearly hearing him say when he was talking about Xi, uh, Xi Jinping that he was basically Xi Jinping was president for life and that would make things a lot easier on Trump if he could just have that type of designation you could really get things done yeah yeah a lot of, a lot of equating him to Caesar well he's not Caesar uh, as far as reincarnation of Julius Gaius Caesar no, actually, um, he does come from that time and was a key factor. His higher self was, in fact, Pompey Magnus, which is you know what I've kind of been getting the feeling of for quite a while. Uh, you know, this is years. <laughs> I, I always kind of felt that he was Pompey. He was Pompey. 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 It's interesting. Pompey Magnus. Mag, Mag, Pompey, Mag, Great. That's where. That's what it means. Pompey the Great, Maga, make America great again. Pompey, Mag, Magnus. This, you know, the symbolism. You, you can't beat it. It's just, it's right there in front of our faces. So, you know, many of you might be very familiar with Pompey. He was one of the three most powerful people in Rome. And yet, he was not the Caesar. And in fact, it was during his time period that that term came to be used for the emperor. Because Rome was a republic, it, it still did have a senate, you know, after the fact. In fact, the senate ended up, uh, you know, getting rid of Caesar. <laughs> it, you know, Caesar was off always on conquests, and he was loved by the people. And... Um, you know, there was still the politics going on in Rome at the same time. But there, there was a, a triumvirate. There was three uh, that decided to, well, they came to an agreement to kind of split power. But, that, you know, when you get to egos this big, e splitting power only lasts so long before it takes over. You know, and so they ended up ultimately coming to fight against each other. And these are some pictures of Pompey. So it's not that we're saying that Donald Trump is Pompey. It's the higher self. And they are one in the same higher selves. And it might be a little confusing to understand how that works. Each incarnation is unique. It's absolutely unique. Yet the higher self has many, many incarnations. There's... Uh there's a frequency to higher self and there is the ability for higher self to send out um, little selves and put them in a certain frequency or have them born under certain planetary conditions so that they are playing out the same role over and over and over again. And, and this is where the information I'm having trouble articulating it and understanding it because I see a column of information and 
it, it's really hard for me to decipher but this is what i got i got that this particular higher self is sending out one one being after an x with very similar frequency so that they will act in a certain way that's extremely predictable to navigate humanity the way they want to navigate it um so that's what i have right now i expect more information to come in but this is it for now well there's there's more that we're going to cover that's interesting too so you know pompey is a key person in the change of rome again from being a republic to becoming a dictatorship basically uh, interestingly enough, he was allied with Julius Caesar and also Crassus uh, in an informal political alliance known as the First Triumvirate, which was cemented by Pompey's marriage to Caesar's daughter, Julia. But eventually what happened was <laughs> they ended up at war with each other and Pompey was ultimately assassinated, assassinated interesting again how everything plays out because i do think that julius uh gaius caesar is incarnated right now as well in fact is putin as far as the higher self and and to me this has always felt just so unequivocally dead on you know the physical looks are closer than trump and pompey's as you can see a depiction of of the original caesar to the right and putin to the left oh yeah and people have actually even uh done artistic expressions as of C putin as caesar and you know again there's a lot that's happening over in russia that will mirror what's happening over here in some ways here again uh, a caesar when we look to the czar czar is the same word as caesar it comes from the same word same origin uh so you know the old czars again who were deposed with the last czar were it historically his family czar nicholas and himself were assassinated during you know the uh, russian revolution when the bolsheviks were coming to power and ultimately uh, left it, it was left ultimately in Stalin's hands, and there was obviously a slaughter of probably tens of millions of people uh, at the hands of Stalin. You know, again, we're in very similar times. Here we are thinking that, in some ways, we're thinking it's the end of an age, and yeah, it's an end of an age, but there's still a long way to go in this in this period of time. The light is growing, which is exposing the darkness for what it is. But we still have a long way to go to demand uh, our own freedom as uh, a species and for our planet as well. These cast of characters, they keep coming back over and over again, uh, trying to redo what they did and to, to up themselves. This is how they act. This is exactly the type of beings they are. It's all about self-glory. It's all about service to self. It's all about, you know, having all the history written about them. You know, Caesars of the world, the Pompeys of the world, the Putins of the world, the Trumps of the world, et cetera, et cetera. We could add tons of names to that. By the way, just in case you were wondering, even over in Russia, they still wonder how many body doubles Putin has, too. How many people in masks, as you can see, different chins there. Yeah, it's all one big uh, you know, act, one big drama. It's fascinating to see this unravel. So you had, again, Julius Caesar, Pompey Magnus, you know, Pompey Maga, Maga, Magnus. And then we had Crassus. Now, I haven't identified who Crassus is. Um, I don't know if you get any impressions. No, we'd have to go deeper into this. But ultimately, it became a, a Roman civil war. Civil war, yeah. A Roman civil war. What are we heading into? A period of civil war is what it looks like between Caesar and Pompey. Former partners, Pompey dies, Caesar wins. Now, what well, does that mean Putin's going to ultimately win when the U.S. goes into civil war? I don't know. Will history repeat itself again? We'll have to see. The real, even more interesting in some ways, part of it is when you look back and say historically, who was the most powerful Caesar? Which one did the best job? 
as far as consolidating power and uh, you know elevating things to a totally different level and really solidifying the em empire. Well, it, it was actually this man, Octavian, and Octavian became known as Caesar Augustus. Um, and I do think he's here too. Uh, his higher self has sent another incarnation in and I feel pretty sure it's Baron Trump. And actually, when I asked that question, Cindy was getting an affirmation from the guides. Right. You know, you're getting that, that confirmation, that confirmation that we have another column of higher self that's reincarnating itself deliberately under certain systems to get a particular outcome. So when will they stop reincarnating as soon as humanity is too awake to control? Yeah, and as you look at all those United States eagles, just keep in mind the Roman eagles very similar. And in fact, this, this is the same system, whether it's Rome, whether it's the United States, whether it, it be, becomes something else. You know, again, you know, it, it, it's just the same system morphing itself. Look at Baron and feel into Baron's energies. Yeah, he, he's an interesting one. And Octavian, again, consolidated his power and really took things to an all new level. And, uh, you know, Baron, it feels like he's being groomed for that. Uh, ultimately, yeah, absolutely. Can you feel the energy and sense that there is a similar energy there? Again, we're looking at a bust of Octavian or Caesar Augustus, and there is Baron. Feel into the energies. They've all done it before. In fact, many of us have done this, and we've been here before, you know, exposing the same things in different ages with different outcomes. Uh, again, it's a fascinating time to be alive, and here is a uh, AI representation of what he might have looked like, uh, Caesar Augustus. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Um, yeah, I'm pretty convinced on this one. This feels very, very right to me. But, you know, hey, I've been wrong before. It's definitely a possibility. Caesar Augustus, you know, again, uh, July and August come from Julius Gaia Caesar and Caesar Augustus, who was also known as Octavian before coming becoming a Caesar or a emperor, a dictator, a ruler. This little girl, she is a farmhand and she could do anything and everything already at her age. She is helping bring new life into this world. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Little girl helping mommy. That's a sweetie. She's such a sweetie. I'm sure she goes out and she milks that goat too when it's time. She's a tough cookie. She's going to be quite a farm girl. Oh, all the cast of characters from our historic past are, are all here doing it all over again. So let us bring about new outcomes, true freedom, true elimination of this system that has reigned for thousands of years. We really look forward to your comments. As always, thanks for your support on Patreon, Source Bless, and Namaste. Namaste.